Now, we're going to learn about the join in LinQ. And the join in LinQ is similar to the uh, joins in SQL, which we use it to join two tables together. And we have these two lists right here. We will join this data and send it back based on certain result. Now, we have this product class which contain name and category property and we have these properties and we have this category class we have two properties inside it and we have this list what we go on to do is to join products on categories so let's write the query I'm gonna say from category in categories we're gonna now say that we want to join product in products okay now we're going to set the relationship on category dot id equals notice that we used the reserved keyword not and two equal signs we call product dot category id now we have like uh, these uh, two lists joins but what we want to do we want to get the names of the product along with its category so we're gonna say select a new product equal product dot name and we want to get the category name so I'm gonna say category equal category dot name now if you notice the returned we have an anonymous type returned from this which has the string product string category now I usually set them like this because they are property and they should be small case letter so now we have this result what we want to do we wanna iterate through them and print them out to so just save time I have this snippet and we will count the elements and then let's just say this and then we going to do we going to print out the results of the uh, grouped item so let's run this if you notice we have now see that we have the category one with the product one we have category 1 again with the product 2 and we have category 2 with the product 3 and category 2 with the product 4 the same thing as we see in the list here if we add a new category and rerun our query notice that the new product right here since it does not belong to a category available here and we are doing an inner join its value will not be printed out